Good morning, hungover kitten. How are you? You okay? Good, good. Good morning, kitten, kitten. You okay? You gonna miss mommy? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of. I'll do that tour of cats in your maybe, maybe. Yeah. Good morning, properly. Outside Costa. Mum didn't want to cough on me. Spoil spot. Um, because I'm, I'm walking her up to the station because she's going to York. Very excited, aren't you? Yay. Very Just excited. had a reminder from the train line. Train. You're going to York. You're going to York. Yes, you are. It's so funny. Yay. I get reminders from the AA of when me and Nia once travelled up somewhere and I had an AA thing, route map, and now every Thursday they send me the same route. And I just keep forgetting to like cancel it. It's like, oh yeah, that's when we went up to Mould. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm going to put Mummy on the train, make sure she gets on okay. And then I'm going to get on the train to Neath. Or it might be the other way around. My train's first, I think, isn't it? Yours. Mine's first. So mum can wave me off. Yay. Right, that's mummy waving for her train. Me on my train. And um, I'm off to Neath. I feel a little bit sad. Why? Um, anyway, mum's taken her book with her, which is, that's kind of cool. And she's going up to see her friend and give her a copy of the book as well. Gonna have a lovely time. So text me when you get it. We do worry, don't we? Anyways, let's go shopping in Neath. Right, we're in Neath. Let's go shopping. Number one is far place. That's a cute little hat. Like that. Considering it. Da, da, da. Look at the dessert dishes. Hello. And they're cute too. Two pound fifty for the set, or three pound for that set. Those paintings are still there. <laughs> drawings are still here. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll let you see it. Yeah. Mm, diamond painted tiger. Or oh, some ready made swag. Swag. Or oh, a pelmet. Pelmet. Fab chair. Don't think I'll really be wanting to carry that around though. And next one. Ooh. Wow. Some groovy books. Lots of cool books. I did look up that um, Japanese art one. None in souls. And listings from £15 upward. But it's quite a big book. I don't particularly want to carry it around. Ooh, that looks cool though. Lovely, but yeah, I don't want to carry that around either. Some more cute hats in this place. Cute. And that's rather nice. White label. 1999. Oh, love the little pocket square. That's cute. Now we're on a bit of cancer research. <laughs> nice reduction aisle. Two pounds. Okay. Yeah, go on then. Looks like a bit of coral, but I think I looked at that last time and it's missing stones. Mm. Grand Rescue Place has got a lovely gramophone. Oh, proper his master's voice stuff. 
<laughs> sunglasses. Mm, don't think there's anything in here. Some scary dragon things. Not sure about them. Mouse drop. Mm, maybe not. I'll have a bit of 90s new look then, please. So in the Shaw Trust, they have got these amazing lips-shaped sofas. Oh my God, they are hilarious. £100 for the double. Oh, that is so cool. And this is the last one for me. I've got some groovy things so far. See if we can find some more. There's me. This is a dusting set. Try and find them then. Da, da, da. A lot of cakes. <laughs> ah. This is the one. That wasn't too hard to find. Hooray. That's neat done. Just gonna get on the train to Port Albert. Now we're in sunny Port Albert. Isn't that lovely? It's coming up to lunchtime, and the question is, do I go to the Spoons there for lunch first? Okay, I'm actually quite thirsty. Or do I do the shops first? Then I might be full after lunch and I want to walk around the shops. <sighs> dilemma, dilemma. Let's see what I do, eh? Okay, yeah, uh, we're shopping. Da, da, da. Oh. Ooh. It's that cassette. How retro. Da, da, da. Mm. I quite like them actually. You probably just Primark or something next. They're kind of cute. I can't think what the design is called, but they look a bit designery. Oh, a bit of ostrich feather. Plain on the back. Why do they do that? Put it all over. Bowden. Nine pounds. Oh, and it's only brand new jewelry. That's so annoying. In the next one. Do -do -do. Is that amber or is it just plastic? Hmm. Oxfam have got some cute things. $14.99 for the cons. They are cute. And now we're in the council research. Look at this, it's River Island. But isn't that fab? And a jumpsuit. Crazy. Oh, Mary now, the Mary Curie. This way from 99p. There's probably some bargains here. I think that was here last time. But, who oh, do I not want to carry knit with? Mm. It's got a flower in it. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, and I went and bought a heavy thing. Well, it's not heavy, it's just cumbersome. Anyway, two more shops to do. And then we're gonna go for lunch. Well, a big drink anyway. Come on, show me the littles. Where's the pretties? Oh, Ted, isn't there? Oh, my niece, no, she's started having them when she was 12. No way. Oh, last one. I promise. Because I am poor pet. My arms hurt. Is it me? 
I quite like that skirt. I mean, I wouldn't wear it, but that's kind of cute. No. See, now I'm starting to hallucinate, aren't I? It's actually hideous. Slosh. Well, he's called Slosh. That's genius. And there we go. Here's my lunch. Are we ready to go home? Mm, good. Because I think the train's coming in. Yay. I'm back home. Yeah, that was quick, wasn't it? It's okay. It's okay. We made it back fine. <sighs> I could have gone around Bridgend as well, but I didn't fancy it today. Besides, what I was carrying was getting a bit heavy on the old arms. See, I've got like marks from holding them. And I was like, nah, gonna go home, let the cats out and um, enjoy a bit of, you know, sitting in the sun and putting some music on because I've got the house to myself, yay. So I'm gonna put some music on loud, put a record on, make a cup of tea, put a record on. Five points if you know where that's from. Anyway, so I'll give you a haul. I bought 11 bits of jewellery, one of which was gold, and it cost me a tenner, and it's unmarked. Um, but I've just tested it. A little sneaky peek. <gasps> so, but I can't see any marks on it. I think it's quite, quite old. But there we are. It was a tenner, it was a risk. It's kind of paid off. Anyways, other things what I did buy. So I did end up buying the classic new look look it is so it is so noughties it's that you know that two-tone it's like purple underneath i don't know if you can kind of see it but it's like purple and blue mini dress velvet crushed velvet no doubt oh isn't it beautiful what size is it anyway does it even say it's stretchy and probably tiny it's a 14 made in the uk Clothes are never made in the UK anymore. Um, but yeah, so that was three pounds. Three pounds. Um, oh yeah, because they were having a three pound sale on all dresses. So I did get a bit of corduroy. Um, this is Topshop. Um, this is a size 14 as well. So good autumn colour that as well. Nice burgundy. This I thought was really nice, but it's not a brand that um, particularly sells, but I thought this was a lovely dress and I thought I'd try it for three quid. They had it up for a tenner, but it's a brand called um, Alice's Pig, designed in Wonderland, made in China. This is apparently a size 16, um, but I thought it was lovely kind of retro floral. And then see with the buttons, it just looks very 60s. I thought that was lovely, lovely. Definitely worth it for three pounds anyway. Uh, you might have seen this in the video. So this is wool, this cost two pounds. And this is by Blaney, Blarney, Blarney, as in the Blarney stone, the Blaney stone, Blarney. Um, Woolen mills made in Ireland. So there we go, proper punk kilt with all the straps and everything in a good tartan colour as well. That's fab. Possibly, probably for me, I spent six pounds on this, is a Scissor Sisters t-shirt. Because bizarrely, I don't own one, which is so weird. I just never bought merch, like when we were at them, couldn't never really afford them. And now I'm buying merch all the time, because I'm like, well, I couldn't afford it before, so I want merch now. So, nice Scissor Sisters t-shirt. Happy with that. A random t-shirt, but I thought there's got to be someone out there that wants one. Um, it's Where the Wild Things Are, which is a pretty cool film. I couldn't find any on eBay or anything. So, um, and it's for Urban Outfitters. It is a little bit worn, but I thought that's, that's quite a nice one. And then this insane thing cost me £6.50, but it is a bit insane 
super 80s probably mohair it's going to be itchy as buggery it has got a label it says erica edwards so i'm guessing it's handmade by erica edwards but isn't that superb it's long so you could almost wear it as a dress as well and then for 5.99 is this now it does say Fortnum and Mason on it, but I'm not sure if it's like a proper Fortnum and Mason one, you know, as in one that was sold. But it is quite nice, it's got handles on it, so it would be nice as a little gift. And in fact, someone has used it as a little gift because there's all glitter inside, so that's great. But it is a nice box, a nice wooden box to begin with, and also coming up to Christmas, someone will want. Now, I don't know whether I will want to give as a gift to someone, you know, put some nice jams and chutneys in, that kind of thing, um, or whether to sell it. We shall see. For a fiver, I did buy the cute hat. It's, it's, fiver is a little bit too much, but it is lovely and it is very, I mean, it's the wrong colour for me, but... It is quite cool, isn't it? Don't you wear it like, like Gabrielle? Anyways, but it's very burlesque kind of looking, isn't it? Also a little bit flight attendant. Um, but I thought that was super nice. Really nice hat, kind of that. And then 49 pence each on these candlestick holders. Where, oh where? It's uranium glass. They don't go for tons and tons and tons and tons. Well, it's a little chip there, but hey, 49p each. Um, but they will still sell. Especially, again, Halloween tightness. Yes. And I will show you the brooches I bought because I put them on Instagram. So I won't show the other jewellery bits, but I did buy these as well. These rather groovy pumpkin brooches. They do look like Bakelite, don't they? They're not, they're Bakelite. They are modern, you can tell by the pins, but they have that kind of uh, retro Bakelite sort of look. They're really groovy, aren't they? I had to get them, because they are very much fun. Anyways, about to run out of battery, so I've got to put you on charge for a bit. Um, and I'm also just gonna have like a drink and a, and a bit of a sit down. Hmm. Right folks, not gonna lie, I'm gonna be on the pop now. Chin chin. It's a lovely day. I'm gonna go sit outside with a drink and um then I've got guests coming over, so yay, it's gonna be a nice night. Um I will probably maybe be a little bit hungover tomorrow. Um just in time to weigh myself. Ooh. Yeah. It's life if not a little bit of fun when the sun shines, isn't it? Yay. Ooh, sweaty upper brow. Upper lip, I mean. Anyways, tomorrow will be a hangover listing day, um, so I shall see you for a little bit tomorrow, but not too much, okay? Bye-bye now, bye-bye.